Hi gorgeous, gorgeous beings of light, this is Almahara coming to you from another spectacular little beach I found on the south coast of New South Wales in Australia. Um, from where I'm staying at the moment you can see out all over this ocean which is just spectacular and just out by that rock in the middle of the picture that you can see on the weekend I saw these whales breaching. I was actually talking to someone on the phone and I was just so excited. I went, oh my god there's a whale! In acting like a crazy woman but anyway um, I wanted to share with you today something extraordinary that happened last week if you've been around me for some time you'll know that I'm a little different and I've had a very interesting life and had some things that keep happening in my life that expand me further than I ever thought was possible or even I believed and even with all my spiritual woo-woo stuff sometimes some things happen that are just extraordinary to me and so some of those things are uh, you know even just a couple of months ago I did some workshops in Narrawali where I was staying and um, in one of my workshops one of the ladies said to me, oh, you just completely disappeared, Elle. And there was a woman there who had long, dark hair and it just wasn't even you. And I just said to her, my only comment was, was she skinny? <laughs> and then in another, uh, I was doing a circle in the evening and another one of the lovely ladies there said that um, when she opened her eyes, my eyes were closed, which they always are when I'm working. And she said that... Um, that there was a different version of me it's still she could still tell it was me um, but I had long blonde hair and I had all this Egyptian jewelry on me so yeah fun times when you do this sort of work I also um, don't do Skype appointments because I do work with my eyes closed and I've opened my eyes to see people just gasping when I've asked them what's the matter they'd say like there's an American Indian poking out the top of your head or there's an Egyptian poking out the top of your head so and there was another time where this person swore black was blue that I was not there that I had disappeared I said well was I still talking and they said yes I said well I must have been there and they said no there was just completely gone blank but that's just sometimes what happens when your vibration get so high you can't actually see the physical being but I couldn't convince them of that and so that's why I stopped doing Skype appointments and stayed with um, with um, just using the phone because I'm clairaudient anyway so so the next story I'm about to tell you is extremely trippy but it also justifies and we'll tell you why I have 55 plus pages of testimonials on my website um, because you know some of this stuff happens and it's not even you that's doing it there's a there's a greater part of you that works through you and with you and and that's what creates these situations so um, last week the last two weeks I've been really busy since the 9th of October um, I've had a 60th birthday since then um, I put, pinched a muscle in my back prior to that and then I just just guided by spirit to get rid of everything um, I own and reduce my life back down to five packing boxes which I have done numerous times in my life so there was lots of packing boxes to get through lots of stuff to give away or to um, to sell or to just throw up the tip and um, it really felt like an amazing purging that was going on and so on the Tuesday I went down to my favorite cafe I went out to do some work um, I think I did one of these recordings, but I also popped into uh, the Tilba Teapot um, or Ellen's, Ca Ellen's Pantry, which is their other new shop they've got in town now, and had a coffee scone, jam and cream. And that was it. I never went out again until um, something happened on the Thursday in, in a charity that was supposed to pick up all my beautiful crystal vases, etc. decided they didn't want them. And so I, at the very last minute, after dark, after closing time, I had to find somewhere to, um, to donate my goods to. And I found a charity in Camargo that I dropped it off at the secondhand store. There was a community store there. But that I never went out again from that Tuesday to that... Um, Thursday night like about 6 37 o'clock when I went to Gabago because I was just so busy because I knew I had to leave by lunchtime Friday so on Friday I um, went back to Ella's pantry and got a coffee 
and it's gone. And when I went to pay for it, um, Beck, the lovely lady who owns the store, said, oh, now Lucy said that you came in and you got a coffee and a scone and you said, I'll be back to pay for it. And you never came back and paid for it. And I went, I paid for it on Monday, on Tuesday or whatever day it was that I went. And they said, no, no. And I could tell by the way Lucy was looking at me that she was telling me the truth. But for me, it wasn't truth for me because for me, all I had done was the last one I'd had was on Tuesday and I had paid for that coffee so when I went home I said to my friend Leslie did did I didn't go out between you know like 11 o'clock Tuesday until Thursday night did I and she said no that that's exactly what had happened I hadn't done that and um I then went to um and then because it was just kind of and anyway I felt awkward about the situation and I tried to give back a ten dollar tip and she wouldn't accept it and anyway so that night when I did a meditation I said to spirit what happened like how they were so sure it was me and I know that I didn't go and then I remember then they just took me back there was a point on one of those days like on Wednesday or Thursday that I was completely covered oh I've just knocked my earpiece out completely covered in dirt from these boxes I was going through on the veranda uh, it was hot the water had gone off on Thursday well, Wednesday Thursday Friday there was no water until for whatever reason there was a problem with the pipe with the water coming down off the mountain and there was no water and I remember just thinking oh god I'd give anything to have a cup of coffee and it's gone right now, but I just, you know, I was filthy dirty and I didn't even have time to, to, to shower and change and go down there. And so, but I do remember about half an hour later thinking, oh God, I feel so much better. <laughs> Must have had that cup of coffee after all. And Spirit said to me that that's actually what happened, that a multi, a higher, like I'm a multidimensional being, I'm probably more of a omnipresent being and there's many different aspects to me and um, that a part of me had gone off and had that coffee scone and cream and that would uh, account for why I said I'll be back later but I didn't have any money on me if it's a high aspect and I know that just sounds so weird I can barely 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 accept it or understand it myself but I do remember that years there's been a couple of times one just happened in the last 12 months and I can't remember the details because I've had such a busy three weeks in my life but I do remember years ago a, fr a younger friend of mine was in Greece or France I can't remember which one now and she she said that I came and knocked on her door and said, come on, let's go have a cup of coffee. And um, that I had, we'd gone out and we'd had this cup of coffee. And, and this was like 20, 30 years ago when it wasn't so easy to ring overseas or text overseas or any of those things weren't in then. You know, it's hard to imagine that, but you couldn't text or anything. And it was like $20 a minute to call overseas. And the first I knew about it was that she sent me a postcard saying thank you so much for coming over I desperately needed to see you and to speak to you so when she got back to Australia I said to her darling what are you talking about <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about sweetheart you know and she said no it was definitely you you definitely knocked on my door and said come on let's go for a coffee and I I said to her you know I didn't recall doing that at all. And then I remember the, the, one, the thing I remember about the recent one in the last 12 months is the person said, you did this and you did that. And I went, darling, as far as I knew, I was just sleeping. I was just napping overnight. I don't remember doing all, any of those things that you spoke about. What's exciting about all of this, other than you might be thinking I'm a complete nutter now, but we've been told that this is coming. We've been, what I think is incredibly exciting, that as an infinite being of light, I've been told for a long time, because people say to me, how can you just still be meditating after 40 years? And I say to them, until I can teleport, until I can manifest substance from light, and until I can be a, you know, a full fledgling multidimensional being that can move between universes and planets and stars etc etc then I've still got work to do so what I'm excited about is obviously some of that is starting to happen so I would like to say to Beck and um, Lucy 
I'm sorry that a higher dimensional part of myself thought they knew you well enough to just come and get a cup of coffee and a scone and not pay for it. Um, the other thing I wanted to say to you is although you wouldn't let me put any money in your tip jar, I managed to get $7 in with two purchases I made shortly after that, Beck, and I will make the difference up next time I pop in for a coffee, scone, jam and cream. So, um, But to everybody else who listens to my work, this is exciting. Other than you thinking I might be a real nutter, this is incredible exciting and I just want to let you know that in honour of this momentous moment or this momentous occasion I want to um, I have just eight days in this gorgeous place and I already have two that I've done but I'm going to do some source creation walking in the, in your light walking in your light one day activations of your own light of your own divinity of your own source within you that creates everything creates more love more light more joy more peace more happiness now normally when I do one day one-on-ones with people they're one thousand one hundred and eleven dollars but just for these eight days I'm going to offer them for five hundred and fifty five dollars they'll start about ten ten thirty and go to about two thirty three thirty somewhere around then might go longer but it's basically a one day with me or it's really a one day having your own divinity your own divine soul reflected back to you if uh, it has to be I have so I have uh, available um, really there's only three appointments left because two have already gone and so there's only one left available on the Saturday the Sunday or the Monday and I may be able to do one on Thursday depending on how I'm going so if you'd like to take advantage of that I would love 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 to work with you and help you begin to access the multi-dimensional aspect of you and of yourself and all your source creation energy that is within you and help you walk in the light or walk in your own divine light your own divinity so if you'd like to do that please either message me below or if you know me through Facebook or you can even contact me through um, my website www.elmaraserafin.com and um, yeah let's just see what other magic we can create in the world so love 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 my deepest love and richest blessings to you all always um, to Beck and Lucy I'm sorry to have scared you like that and thank you for the freebie um, and well thank you for the freebie you gave my multi-dimensional self that I personally didn't know anything about until a couple of days later so um, and to all of you I I wish for you that you continue to awaken the many aspects of beauty and power and strength and gorgeousness and sexiness that exists within your own powerful divine soul and I really look forward to working with you all again and I really look forward to having another scone jam and cream and paying for it when I get back to Tilpa Tilpa. So already love, love, love. My deepest love and richest blessings to you all. Namaste and bye for now.